market failure can also be caused by economic instability. Now, all market economies are prone to this kind of instability. That is, periods of upswing or growth, followed by periods of downswing or recession. And these ups and downs in economic activity are what is known as the business cycle. This is a cycle that has played itself out periodically. The consequences are felt everywhere. If the balance sheet of a bank shrinks, its capacity to lend is eroded. If its lending is curtailed, businesses and households have to reduce their spending. If demand falls in Birmingham, factories close in Beijing. If production lines in China slow, demand for commodities from Africa dries up. The vegetable shop next to the mine closes and the drivers of delivery vehicles are asked to work short time on half pay. And if the driver then cannot pay his mortgage, the bank forecloses on his bond. The bank writes down its balance sheet again. This is the cycle the world is living through at the moment. It's not, uh, it won't be a surprise to you, of course, uh, to hear that uh, we see the prospects for Africa uh, significantly worse than they looked uh, six months ago when we were last here. Uh, the crisis is, is now uh, in full force in Africa as a result, of course, of the significant uh, uh, slowdown in demand in the rest of the world, the huge decline in demand for African exports. The appropriate role for government in the economy is one of ongoing and frequently very heated debate. Some maintain that over time at least the market system is the most stable one there is, while others say the market system is completely unstable and requires the intervention of government through its monetary and fiscal policies. Then there's another view that the real cause of financial and economic instability is the inappropriate use of fiscal and monetary policies and other interventions by government. While market failures in their various forms tend to suggest that some form of government intervention is necessary, many economists argue that even when the market has failed to achieve the best outcome possible, government intervention tends to make the situation worse, not better. In other words, they maintain that the problems caused by government intervention are just as bad as the problems the intervention was intended to fix, and that's what they call government failure. So, get informed. Get involved. Understand and analyse the economic choices your government is making so you can be informed about your future and the future of your nation.